started your timer and here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering the surgical pathology station, kindly tell me why is it important to have several biopsies for uh, the diagnosis of pseudoprostate? Yes, ma'am, because uh, uh, there, is, uh, there is inconsistency in the histological features of carcinoma. So uh, at times it leads to underdiagnosis and at times it leads to overdiagnosis. So a proper uh, multiple sections of biopsy is required to count the Gleason score for appropriate management. Okay. How is uh, how many biopsies should be taken on average? Uh, on an average, more than six biopsies should be taken, uh, but uh, it varies depending upon the accuracy we require. Up to 45, that is an average from 14, 45 biopsies can be taken okay. from what different geographies. What is Gleason score? Its Gleason score is uh, it's it's a score that is on the scale from two to ten, and uh, what we do is we we'll take two most common uh, uh, sample, uh, two most common histological uh, 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 findings that are present in the different specimens that we collect. Uh, so uh, the specimen, uh, the grade number one is uh, normal with the minimal stroma and uh, normal tubular shape of lens. Grade two is increased uh, amount of stroma. Grade three is not only increased amount of stroma as well as distortion of gland. And grade four is a minimal number of. Number five is uh, no glands with anaplastic tissue everywhere. Good. Uh, what are your com comments about the PSA level of this patient? Yes, this uh, patient has PSA level of uh, nine point eight, which is uh, uh, quite high but not in the range of uh, uh, malignancy, which is more than 14, I think. Okay, so what would you what would you comment or what would you say to the patient? Uh, we will uh, uh, inform, we will take an informed joint consent from the patient and we will discuss the possibilities of uh, uh, different outcomes that can follow this base uh, PSA level. Because uh, 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 if we, we need to take a transrectal ultrasound and perform multiple biopsies to further assess patient's condition at this moment. Okay, uh, can you tell me why PSA level is not a reliable test? It's because it's organ specific and not cancer specific. The, what at you times, mean by uh, that? Patient yes. Can, yes. Yes, at times, patient with uh, normal levels might have cancer and at other times, patient with higher level may not have cancer. That's why it's neither specific nor sensitive for making a diagnosis of carcinoma prostate. Can you name few other normal conditions in which you can find a higher PSA level? Yes, uh, recent ejaculation, recent exercise, trauma, or even prostatitis can lead to higher levels of... Uh, even uh, the uh, DRA examination. Yes. Okay, can you tell yes, me uh, what is the proper way of taking prostatic biopsy? Yes, uh, it's uh, it's done under transrectal ultrasound guidance, Very and good. there is a specific gun with a specific diameter and a specific length. Yes. And uh, as I told, that a geographical uh, area should be taken, uh, upper, middle, and lower part. That is the base, apex, and uh, uh, the and each side of both lobes should be taken at uh, yes. multiple sites. Core biopsy is the procedure that is done. Yes, okay. Can you tell me how would you differentiate once you've taken the biopsy 
how would you differentiate if the biopsy was taken from the prosthetic cells or it was taken from the rectum? Yes, uh, it will be decided by immunohistochemistry. Uh, yes. Those uh, samples that are taken from rectum will show a carcinoembryonic antigen, and those from prostate will show uh, a PSA. All right, good. Uh, uh, can you also tell me what are the genes which are involved in case of prostatic carcinoma? Yes, there are uh, multiple genes that are uh, that are involved. Yes, and uh, it's uh, uh, MSH and MLH. Uh, and there is also uh, TMT, RSS. Uh, uh, what is the role of BRCA1 and 2 in case of prostatic carcinoma? Yes, it's also one of the gene. Yes. yes, it's also one of the gene that is involved in uh, increased predisposition to uh, prostate cancer. Okay. Can you tell me, just post if you... Have... Yes. Yes, please. I cannot. I cannot uh, specify the exact pathway that it uh, involves. Barka. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. Right. Okay. Can you please tell me? Uh, once you have diagnosed a patient with prostatic carcinoma, so what are other than PSA? What are the other two tests which uh, blood test can be significant? Uh, if a patient has been diagnosed with uh, uh, prostate carcinoma, we would like to perform a, a serum calcium level yes. to check for any bony mats. And yes. uh, we will perform a CT scan and uh, CT scan blood, of the... Uh, blood uh, test. Another blood test. PSA, serum calcium, and ALP. Okay. Can you please tell me what is the management alternative that you'll offer to the patient who has been diagnosed with carcinoma? Uh, the management will depend upon the staging and grading of Very the tumor. Good. Yes. Uh, most, um, uh, if the it's uh, it's uh, uh, confined to the prostate, then radical prostatectomy uh, will help. Uh, followed by uh, chemotherapy if there is that is chemical orchidectomy or uh, surgical orchidectomy to depress the uh, any uh, grand tissue that is present outside the uh, uh, prostate. And if the patient has uh, multiple vets, then it will need uh, radiotherapy for radiation. And uh, what would you do? Uh, what would you suggest to the patient who presents with the uh, pain afterwards uh, because of the bony metastasis? Yes, we will get the tumor markers to confirm that, that it's because of the spread of prostate. Yes. And this will patient will not only require radiotherapy, but uh, as well as this uh, uh, um, phosphonates to uh, reduce the. Uh, okay, just suppose you've structure. done the radical prostate prostatectomy, and then uh, the PSA level is seven. Then how would you judge if the procedure was successful or not? Uh, if uh, after the prostatectomy there is a uh, presence of prostate specific, it means there is uh, some tissue left which is producing this PSA. And it could be either incomplete excision or it could be due to metastatic cells. Good. Okay. So if a patient presents with UTI, uh, in this case, what is the most common organism that you will suspect? Uh, it will be, again, the uh, gram negatives, that is E. coli, uh, Proteus and Plebiscida, these are the most common organisms in UTI. Okay. Same patient, uh, okay, same patient presents with uh, uh, six months after six months of procedure. Now it presents with PSA level and uh, after six months, PSA is three. How would you interpret that? Yeah, uh, after surgery or complete removal of tumor, the PSA level should not be detectable. So any any if there is detectable level of PSA, it means it, it is recurrence. That is called biological recurrence. So we need to look uh, for the area where is metastasis like bone scan or. Uh, How would you confirm your then diagnosis? You'll do. And this is biological uh, presence of disease. Okay. Yeah. Pet scan. Uh, uh, yeah, it can detect. Uh, right. Bell is gone, but uh, just one uh, question. 
prostatic carcinoma when uh, it spreads distantly metastasis uh, how is it presented typical yeah it presents with bone pain mm -hmm. and the uh, uh, lesion is sclerotic it is it's a uh, uh, yes. bone forming tumor yes Okay, last question. What is the rationale for treating prostatic carcinoma by bilateral orchiectomy? Yes, because it, it, it deprives of androgen. That is the uh, hormone that is trophic for the tumor cells. How it helps in post, uh, post operatively? And the uh, orchidectomy? Uh, androgen depletion. Yes, androgen depletion will uh, 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 reduce the uh, stimulus for the growth of uh, malignant cells. It, uh, it will reduce the multiplication as well as the uh, very growth good. of cells. Yes. yes, yes. All right, good, very good. Thank you. Thank you, thank you.